Hey guys, good morning. Um, I'm actually on my way to work right now and I'm trying to do a little video for you uh, before I get there. I've been working in an area that doesn't have great cell reception, so it's really hard for me to upload videos. Uh, like the last one I did for you guys, it took me six hours to upload it, only for a 12 minute video, which is kind of ridiculous, right? Um, in my last video, I talked about uh, a sneak peek of Clean Week coming out. Um, I did not check this morning, but uh, yesterday, Clean Week was still up. So hopefully, it's still up today on your VOD. Um, if you guys get a chance to, to uh, do that, please do. It's, a, it's only a 30 minute core exercise. Uh, and I say only 30 minutes. It's not a super um, high impact workout. It's really not. Uh, just give it a try though, because it is our brand new thing. It comes out October 3rd. Um, and it's like, it will be a seven, or a seven day program, but right now we just have a sneak peek of one day. Uh, so check that out. Anybody that posted that they did that, that sneak peek, if it's still up, um, will get a prize or be entered into a raffle for a prize. Um, but this morning I got up and I did a workout that included a move that I haven't really done in a while, um, but in, in in the move, I was noticing something. All right, so the move, I'm, I'm, I'm laying on my back. You put your hands up over your head as you're laying down on your back, and you put your hands, you raise your hands up, and you put them down by your butt. You sit straight up, and as you're sitting up, you reach your hands up, and you do a full reach up towards the sky. You keep your legs flat on the ground. Um, so basically, you're doing a full, full body sit up and reach, which for some people doesn't sound like it's a really hard move, right? but it is all core. Like there is no rocking back and forth. There's no shuffling of your feet. There's no, I'm gonna try to get momentum up to go do this thing. It is literally just all core. Just sit up and reach. And you do it over and over and over and over again because that's how we do stuff. We just do repetition, right? Okay, so as I, I, was, I was going through the move this morning, about 30 seconds in, I'm like, this really doesn't seem that difficult right now. Like, I don't know why, it just it just didn't seem that bad. And I, I was thinking that, you know, a few months ago, I was doing Pio, and we had the same exact move in there, where you're, you're laying back, you reach your hands up every head, and you, you, you go up and you do a full step and reach. And I had a lot of problems doing it. Like, I got through maybe two, like two full ones before I started to struggle getting up for that third one, and then my fourth one was even shallower. And then like by my fifth one, I had to take a break, but then I would get back into it, but I never got back to that full sit up position and then a full reach. And I was thinking this morning that, man, I haven't done that in at least a month or so, but because of everything else that I've done, that exercise is, I don't want to say it's easy because it's still all core engagement. Um, but it is, I'm able to do it. I was able to do the, the full move for the entire time, and I'm actually st sitting there going, damn it, this is actually, like, I can see progress. I, I, I wasn't able to do this before, and I am able to crush it right now. And that's a huge thing, because we don't always see those kind of milestones every single day. Um, like, I did a push-up challenge about a month or so ago, uh, and honestly, I ended up hurting my shoulder pretty bad, so I couldn't even finish the, the silly thing. But something like that, something you can actually like quantify, you can say, I'm gonna do two this day, I'm gonna do five the next day, I'm gonna do 10 the next day. You can see progress that way. But if you're in uh, a program where you're doing it constantly, and con like over and over and over again, it, it's kind of hard to see that progress in a really short period of time. But like I said, I, I did that move months ago, and I struggled so much with it. And then today I was like, man, I got this. I freaking got this. And it's, it is so, I don't wanna say empowering, but gratifying to know that all the work that I'm putting in is paying off so that I can do the things I couldn't do before. And that that is the core thing that's a core reason why we are doing what we're doing. So that we can do the hard things tomorrow that we can't do today. We try to be healthier, we try to be stronger, we try to be better today 
than we were yesterday so that tomorrow we can be better than we are today, right? And that is just one more thing that drives a nail in the coffin that says, yes, the work that we are doing actually pays off and it means something because it is progress. You're stronger, you're better, and it's easier so you can move on to the next level of something, right? I did a post yesterday saying that the day-to-day -day work that we do isn't sexy. It's not. Doing push-ups isn't sexy. Doing um, burpees or squats, squat lunges, or you know whatever we're doing, um, you know the the downing dog bear move or uh, running around in circles, doing like the side the side shuffles or whatever. That stuff isn't sexy. That stuff isn't like really appealing to people. That sometimes that just kind of sucks because you're like, man, I'm really not feeling it today. This is really hard. It's really pushing me today. But you know what though? Whenever you can take a step back, maybe do another program for a couple days or whatever, uh, it just you come back to it. You're like, you, you can just get right back into it. And you can push yourself harder because your body is like, we got this. We did this before, we did the hard work before, and it's going to pay off. Um, but like I said, those, those, the day-to-day -day isn't what is appealing. It's that end goal. And a lot of people, they just want to get to that end goal right now. They just want to have that those six-pack ripped abs. They want to have that 100-pound weight loss. They just want to have that, they just want to have that goal now. But... There's no pride in getting it. There's no, there's, there's no uh, gratification. Like uh, you have instant gratification, but you don't have the that fuck yeah moment. Like I just did this because it, it was just given to you. You, you know, like somehow you cheated to get this thing. Somehow you skipped processes. Listen, if if you were about to get onto a plane and you were flying across the ocean, I mean, I don't, I, you could fly five minutes away. I don't really care. Um, would you want to know that your pilot skipped a whole bunch of classes just to get his pilot license? Do you want to know that he didn't go through every single process, that he didn't actually work hard to get to where he is to go fly your plane? No! You don't want to know that, and you hope to God that it, that actually didn't happen, because you, you don't always get to meet your pilot, right? But you want to know, you want to have this idea that they put in the work, that they have the certifications and, and licenses and all that kind of stuff to be able to do their job right. They put in the hard work. They did the things that are not attractive so that they can be the pilot for you, right? And that's that's what we do. We put in the hard work. We do the things that, that some other people cannot do or they definitely don't want to do to get to where we're going. And it's not always about that end goal. You will find so many milestones along your fitness journey um, just like the one I had this morning, you'll find those little milestones that say, you know, congratulations, this is, this is exactly what you need to be doing, um, and congratulations for being better. You will find so many of those things along the way, it's not always about the end goal. It's, it's about the journey and about the person that you become along that journey. It's about the things that you learn, the things that you push through, um, Yesterday was a super, super tough day. I was extremely beat. Uh, my entire body was sore. I really did not want to get up and work out at all. Uh, I think I might have even put that post up in this group yesterday. But there is no bad workout. Like, if you did a workout, it's not a bad workout. You just push yourself. The only bad workout is the one that you didn't do. The only bad goal, the only bad day that you have is one that, that didn't move you forward. You're going to have bad days. You're going to have those days where you struggle. But what matters is, did you push yourself through it? Did you get done what you need to get done? Did you did you try your best to be the best you can be that day? And that's what really matters. As long as you try, as long as you push, as long as you work and do the things that you need to do, even if it isn't the best, like, it, like, Yesterday, it, uh, I had problems doing lunges. I had problems doing burpees. I had problems doing a lot of the things. I just didn't have the energy, but I did it anyways. I tried to do the best that I could do. And some days, that's all you can ask of yourself. 
but those days when you push through no matter what, because there were so many times yesterday where I re really just wanted to quit. As long as you push through those days and you're like, I don't care, I'm gonna keep on doing it, even if it's not the best I've ever done, it's the best I can do today, you will grow. You will see the results. You will continue to move forward, even if it's just baby steps. Baby steps are still progress. Sitting still or moving backwards is not gonna get you to where you wanna be. It's, a, it's about the, the mental game that you play with yourself. Yes, I can. Yes, I will. Yes, I am doing this. It's about doing the hard things every single day, especially on those days you don't want to, because that's going to help your mind game. And celebrating those little victories that you have, like being able to do sit-up reaches. I am so excited that I was able to do that today. And I want to celebrate the things that you guys might have noticed or are noticing. It's not necessarily like um, like weight uh, goals, because yeah, you can you can measure that. You can say, yeah, I'm down 10 pounds. Great. I mean, that's that's super awesome. If that's your goal to be down 10 pounds, I am super excited. Um, I have a personal goal for myself to be down a certain amount of weight, but I'm also celebrating the other things along the way because my goal is pretty big. And if I just focus on that goal, I'm going to miss out on all the other things that I can celebrate. So uh, today, I want you to challenge yourself to be the best you can be. I know I do that every single day, but today especially, um, find that one move in your workout or that one part in your day that is just really, really hard. I want you guys to focus on that. I want you guys to celebrate one thing that you know that you can do better today or that you have done better recently than you did in the recent past. Um, whether it's a fitness thing, whether it's uh, I didn't... Uh, go for the bag of cookies in my in my cupboard i went for you know rice cakes or something something healthier uh i skipped out on drinking pop this week um just find something to celebrate because that is what makes this journey worthwhile is finding things to celebrate and finding things to feel good about we want to feel good right so let's find things to celebrate to make this thing even better all right so it's thursday have a great day guys i'm gonna go to work and and hopefully not get into an accident because somebody's not paying attention Sorry, got a little, uh, got a little, uh, almost went off the deep end there for a second because I hate when people are just like, Arr. anyways, <laughs> have a good day. I will talk to you guys later. Post in the comments below something that we can all celebrate and we'll, we'll, we'll do it big in the group. All right, guys, have a good day.